Hello you guys and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're working on uh, VW um, CC and uh, it's an old key lost. So in this case, um, in order to do the job, uh, we need to take out the glove box and behind the glove box, there is that module um, that you're gonna need to take out. So we're gonna take uh, that module out and we will be with you. So when you take that out, um, it's gonna be like this. Make sure you take the plastic cover uh, before so then you can unplug the cables. Uh, don't try to unplug them when it's with it. It's just not gonna go. So we're just gonna unplug them and take them to the bench. Okay, so now we are on the bench. We're going to do the job with the mini prog and uh, the keto. Um, so we're just gonna unclip those four clips and we're gonna get the board. So when we get them out of the box, just note right here, there is like clips that holds the board in place. So we're just gonna do it gently to lift this up. So we're just gonna pry it gently. So after wiggling with each one of the connectors to take them out, we're gonna be uh, left uh, with this. And now we're gonna need to read the chip. So we're gonna get connected with the tools and I will show you what we do. So um, in this corner, you're gonna just locate that thing and it will be easier, but this is the chip. So I'm just gonna go closer on him. So that will be the chip that we're gonna read. So we're gonna get connected to this. So in order to read it, we're just gonna go to this screen. We're gonna press select and we're gonna make sure we are connected to this tool. So after we found it, we're just gonna press connect. Then we're gonna go to EEPROM. We're gonna scroll down to ST. And then on ST, we're just gonna see here that the number shows on the chip is 9835P. So we're just gonna find that exact one. So 95320, and we're just gonna choose the pressure. Now make sure you know uh, which one is gonna be uh, number one pin. So we're just gonna locate a small groove. So we're just gonna place it on the chip and we're gonna go and hit the read. And then we're gonna press EEPROM. And then we can press on the machine, start operation. So <clears throat> we are on the chip. So just on that same chip, we're just pressuring it and we're gonna press on the button on the back. So we read the file, so now we just can name it, uh, whatever we like. I'm just gonna put it in a way that I'm gonna remember. And I'm gonna hit okay. Now I'm just gonna go back. So now after we save the file, uh, we're just gonna go back and we're gonna go into the key tool menu and we're gonna go to uh, special functions and we're gonna go to emo data tool. We're gonna go Europe. We're gonna go down to VW all the way on the bottom. And here, we're just gonna use the Passat. And then we can see the chip. So the ID 48. And we're gonna just gonna do start execution. So we're gonna go to the mini prog files. And 
and then we can go by the date and this is our file and we can choose key number three so we place the key over here and we're gonna go make dealer key and we're using a magnemus 48 and we place the key over there and prepare dealer key success it can start the engine after you write back the dump file so we're just gonna press ok and we're gonna hit save here and we're gonna just uh, mark that so this will be the file that uh, we want to write back so we're just gonna hit save and we're gonna hit ok now we're gonna go back to this menu we're gonna go EEPROM flash again we're gonna go ST and and right here pressure and we're gonna go right this time and we're writing an EEPROM so we're gonna hit start operation and here we're gonna select the file so it's on the local file and that will be the new file the one with the kk on the bottom on the front so we're just going to choose that one and we're going to hit the chinese over here and then we're going to take this and we're going to do start operation and we're going to have it right on top of that and we're going to hit continue So oh, it looked like it's successful. So uh, we're gonna install it back in the car and see if it works. So we have connected back everything in the car and now when we slot the car, the key in, um, it should give us a signal. So we're just gonna go to the driver's seat. <laughs> So we're just gonna put the key in. And as we can see, the car comes right on. So now the only thing for us is to program the chip part, but that will be, that will be the way to do the old key lost for those uh, modules. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video.